Hello my dear friends, today we celebrate the 11th of September, the Sunday 11th September, the 24th Sunday in the ordinary time and the topic, well, the Duma uh, Graudinst, well, this uh, word of God, this uh, uh, key word, this uh, seed is about, about this uh, wonderful topic about it, this uh, seed is uh, the, really the mercifulness of God and rejoicing. These two things go together, my dear friends. So in the first we have in the first reading in the Exodus 32 we see that uh, Moses stands up to God recalling all of God's great promises and he, he, he makes experience how much God is left how much God is his compassion for his own people, even if they are not very faithful. Then we have the psalm. Then once we are forgiven, you know, once we are forgiven in the psalm 51, then we can hope for a new heart and a fresh start. And then in the second reading, we have Paul, our dear son Paul, in 1 Timothy 1. Paul proves it's never too late to repent and to serve God. He makes this, although he was the last, he was a persecutor, he was the one who, oh, he has experienced the first of this wonderful experience of mercifulness of God. And then we have the Gospel of St. Luke 15, this famous, uh, these three parables, you know, about mercifulness. And there Jesus tells three parables about losing, finding, and rejoicing. It goes together. And so God, and that's the good news, rejoices over one sinner who repents. More like the outcast who have come to hear Jesus. Much more than all people who think they are okay and okay. Good. The father, Jesus describes his father, full of compassion, runs out to embrace and forgive his uh, lost son before even this person can utter one word of repentance. Can you imagine? At this point, the rejoicing begins already, very quickly. And so it means when we are lost, God doesn't wait for our return. He actively seeks us out. And when the lost are found, how could we not celebrate and rejoice? So, my dear friends, when we sin, when we drop, when we do something wrong, don't be afraid, just run to God like Teresa of Lisieux said, jump on his knees and God will never push us back. He will take us in his arms and love us and forgive us and we have no time even to repent. That's our God, our Father. He is like a good, living, loving mother. So, my dear friends, let's live this mercifulness, this compassion, that rejoicing like Moses did, like Paul did, like the Psalm says it, like Jesus did this rejoicing and this compassion. And, uh, and we also invited to have compassion and mercy and love and tenderness for everybody who, who, with whom we have problems. We also become like our Father. Because love loves us, we become love. All the best, my dear friends. Good week.